Hello there. Welcome to Adventures of Oddy and Friends. I'm Christian. And this is Oddy. As you would have seen in the last video that we just put out, um, we believe Oddy got a problem with the car because it was running a bit rough. Uh, we cleaned it out, as you saw, got rid of the bits in it. Um, but no, we're still having a problem. So, did a bit more investigating and noticed we're getting an intermittent spark. So, I've looked at the, looked at the points, cleaned them up, cleaned all the leads up to the condensers and onto the um, the coil, still having problems with it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fit an electronic ignition, see if that helps it and see if that works. Furthermore, what else we're going to be doing with Oddy, these and his adventures, is that we're going to be going to lots of car meets, classic, modern, motorcycle meets, because I'm a motorcyclist as well, and lots of other interesting things that we're going to do, which hopefully you can all watch and enjoy us on our travels and on our adventures. So but for now, let's get on, let's get this um, electronic ignition fitted. Right then, so first thing we're going to do is obviously we'll take off the distributor cap and just move that out of the way. Uh, that is new by the way, that distributor cap is new. We'll just do something like that as well. Now. Okay, get rid of that. We do not want to lose that. Right, so we're going to get the kit. Right, obviously. The most important thing, you disconnect your battery. If you don't know any electricity, guys, say 12 volts, but obviously it's not coming from the coil. So, right, taking things apart. So, uh, Also very handy with these that you've got a screwdriver that's a little bit magnetised. So that will help. Right, that's the condenser. So that's gone. We'll remove the points. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get a bit of contact cleaner, give this all a bit of a clean. Uh, and then, when I've done that, then we should be at a point where we can be ready to start fitting the uh, electronic conditioning. Right, so that's all nice and clean. So now, what we've got is the power module. Which will fit in there like so. First, you need to apply a little bit of a heat sink, same as you would do with a computer or a CPU. So, we'll just get some of that cut. Is covered. So obviously before doing this I would test fit the module where it's going to go so you know where it's going to go so you're not going to get 
Gonna tie or tighten it yet. That heat sink it gets everywhere. Tighten them yet. And then just put the ring on. Push that right there. Okay. And then we just need to feed the wires round. They're not going to get caught in anything. And we've got a little tie around that, so let's go and get a little zip tie. Right. I'm just going to put a zip tie around these wires just so we know we're not going to get caught in anything. Get caught in the mechanism when it's spinning round. Okay. Right, and then we can pop back on our cap. Right, okay, we'll just connect all the wires now to the coil. Uh, I was able to change this. I can leave them in situ, but they're not going to be using the, the plug on ones. Obviously, black is the negative. Okay, I will tie these wires up, get them uh, out of the way for now. They're on. So, technically, that's in there, I've got the gap. Um, just put that rotary on, making sure that's going to clear. If not, I might have to take a bit off that, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. Right, okay. I'm going to reconnect the battery. Okay, so, battery's on. All I have to do is to pop the cap back on. So, 
And fingers crossed that it works. So I'm just going to move a few tools and about, and then we'll have we'll have a test for you then. Okay, may have to the battery and charge, but unfortunately, as you'll see, the battery does need replacing. <laughs> Oh, right. Three, two, one. 